Hi, I'd love to give you some ideas for the letter X. Letter X is for Max and Ruby, and X is also for X marks the spot. We're going on a treasure hunt today in our lesson. So let me close this treasure box so you can see that X is for Max, and we put X's all over the letter X to decorate. And then we also practice making the letter X sound. Letter X says, and I always use my water squirter to demonstrate that sound. Ks, ks, ks. Okay, and then we did a little blending today with some um, letters and words. And then um, let's see, for math today, we did something super fun. We did, um, I'll show you. We did a little treasure box and we did just some subtraction. So we put all the treasures, we counted one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, 10 treasures, and then we did some takeaway. So 10, and then we said, Pirate Sue came to get some of our treasures. She got three treasures. So how many are left? Let's count how many, she took three. So how many are left in the treasure box? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 10 to take away three is seven. So I think you can see the idea how you can use that treasure box for takeaway. Just keep taking away uh, different treasures and you can even add them back and do some adding with that math mat too. So for art today, we did something fun. We made a treasure map. We just used regular plain white paper and I painted it with a little bit of coffee grounds mixed with water. You can also use a tea bag. And well, first I drew, I drew some things around my home, like a couch and a stove, that's the kitchen, a bathroom, the kitchen table, and then that's a tree. So you can actually follow the map, go from place to place around your house and have a fun treasure hunt. And again, I just, after I drew the map, I painted it with coffee that was watered down or you could rub it with a used tea bag let it dry and then crumble it up, spread it back open and that makes it look like a cool old treasure map. Our music and movement today was going on a treasure hunt. I'll put the link below. For social studies, oh, we had so much fun. We went on a treasure hunt and we used this map. Let's see if I can put up and show you. Mm, I don't see it. I don't see my map. This is the lesson plan. Let me show you that really quickly. Today is uh, Friday at this recording time. And so I have something to do for every um, every subject area. This is complete pre-K. You could modify it for preschool or kindergarten as well. And these are all the things we did. For social studies, we did simple map skills and directions and um, I don't see my map. Maybe I've already closed it out, but I'm going to put the link below because I have made this video, the whole video before last year when we did this lesson in my online classes. So you can watch the whole video and see that map treasure hunt. I'll put the link below. And then for story time today, we read the story, Max and Ruby's um treasure hunt, Max and Ruby's treasure hunt. And that's on the other video too. So this was just to jump on and give you some ideas um, and also to tell you to get that lesson plan at my website if you want to. It has the worksheets or links to the worksheets, everything already done for you. And I hope this blesses your homeschool. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.